have been criticized by some after his route going victories in his four most recent fights. But you see right there evidence of how tired Pernell Whitaker is. He had his man ready to go down. Roger Mayweather was another low blow by Whitaker. Roger Mayweather was one or two good crisp punches from going down. And yet Pernell Whitaker let him get away. He just right now does not have the energy to pursue him. Wallison is apparently shy about warning fighters for low blows. There was another one, by the way. He may still be trying to recover from that left hook. Casey joined us late. Wallison himself, the referee, took a left hook from Brunel Whitaker in round two. Something like that left hook. the crucial factor is conditioning physical strength both fighters have done a lot of work with weights they've taken advantage of all the advances in modern sports medicine to try to get a Purcell to peak condition and it's just a matter of who is the most successful and so far it has been Whitaker round seven another big round for him in a fight he's dominated we are back at the Norfolk scope and during the period between rounds Jesse Reed berated his fighter Roger Mayweather in the corner asking him do you want to work for three months as hard as you did and just lay in there and look like a dead man that's what you've done so far Mayweather may not have enough left in his body at this point to respond to Jesse's urges. I think he might find some inspiration Jim if he could listen into the Whitaker corner in between rounds because they're trying to keep Pete's spirits up he is tired I think he's put on a very good act and not letting Mayweather know exactly how tired he is. Good sharp right hand by Whitaker. Did not land flush, but it got Mayweather's attention. This is round eight of a 12-round fight. Billy Baxter over in Mayweather's corner is an outstanding poker player, good enough to have won the World Series of Poker on two occasions. He must be admiring of Whitaker's poker face in not revealing how dead tired he is right now at this point. You're looking there at Eddie Eliano and Jesse Reed in the corner. In the background there, sitting down, Billy Baxter. Again, Roger Mayweather. Roger Mayweather, nothing in response. Letting Whitaker get off first. And letting Whitaker dictate the pace. Once again, we remind you at the conclusion of this live match from Norfolk. We will show you for the first time ever on over-the-air network television tape of the Hagler-Hearns War in Las Vegas. And Alex Walla will have a live interview with marvelous Marvin Hagler as we look ahead to Hagler-Leonard on April 6th. They're both tired, but Whitaker is just finding something inside of him that gives him the ability to let his hands go more often. And the thing I'm impressed about, Jim, is that Purnell has been so much more accurate in this fight. In his last three fights against much lesser opponents, he missed more punches than he landed. He's still missing punches here. Nobody lands every one of them. But he's more accurate against Roger Mayweather in a situation where he should also be, he has to be more defensive-minded because Mayweather has more to counter with. 20 seconds left in round eight of a fight in which Brunel Whitaker very badly wanted to re-establish his credentials as a rising contender in the crowded lightweight division. So far, he's well on his way to doing exactly that. Nine begins, and Roger Mayweather tries to begin to deliver some punishment for the first time in the bout to Brunel Whitaker. Roger Mayweather lost a half pound at the weigh-in. If he doesn't watch it, he's going to lose his trunks here in the fight. They're well down below his, his cup. This referee is just not on top of things. He should call time and pull up his trunks. The 
trunks are soaked with perspiration. In addition, Mayweather has taken several low blows, for which referee Chris Wallison has not warned Cornell Whitaker. with Alex Wallow at ringside. What does he say? I just asked him how his hand was. And he's still gesturing to me. He said that I thought he wasn't using his left enough. And I had pointed in my left hand to see how it was, the hand that he injured. And he shook his head. And then he touched his head. Like he heard it. He might have heard his left hand landing it on the top of Roger Mayweather's head. Take a look and see how often Pernell Whitaker uses his left hand. Of course, you will recall that he broke the hand one year ago in a bout here with John Montez across the river in Hampton. He threw it there, but missed it. Oh, 